Yeah, it's, it's been unexpected this um, this period at the moment. Um, from the last game I played, had ongoing and still have ongoing concussion symptoms, and um, which has led to me going th going through some rigorous testing the last three months. And unfortunately, I found out it's unfit for me to keep playing. The emotion is definitely heightened seeing the guys for the first time today as a playing group and the coaches and support staff. You know, I never thought that I was going to be in this position. I was still hopeful that I was going to play and come back to pre-season initially and yeah, things turn the other way pretty quickly and it sort of makes it real being in the surroundings of the football club, being around your teammates, your coaches, uh, support staff, it makes this this whole situation real. I felt a lot of weight has been on my shoulders since that, that last game against Fremantle. I think having those prolonged concussion symptoms that have been around for the three months now, I think post game still got it. So it's yeah, three months down the track, which has led me to, to go through some quite rigorous testing to figure out what's going on. And, and unfortunately, they, uh, they found it through the, what they did find is one, there's a brain there, so I was pretty pumped with that. But secondly, it's just the, the risk of playing AFL football and you know, I was, I was deemed unfit to continue. It is tough to get told that because that's all I've known, it's, it's, I guess that's my purpose in life. It's a job like no other and uh, yeah, to be able to do it for 12 years is something that I'm over the moon. To be able to play in front of big crowds is something I've never taken for granted and yeah, yeah I think the last couple of days especially, it's given me a bit of time to think about uh, the last 12 years and it took me a long time to to break into the West Coast side and then to become a consistent AFL player. I think throughout the journey, the, the amount of adversity you go through, I think it really brings pride to myself and I'm sort of proud how I've gone through those situations because when things come easy, you probably don't appreciate it as much and I've had to do it the hard way at times and you know, I've really loved my journey and yeah, it has taken me a while to sort of get to the level where, level where I thought I, I could get to. I feel like I've got the most out, of my, most out of myself and reached that level. I'm sort of content with my last 12 years. I wouldn't change it for the world. Well, I'd love my teammates to, to think of me, just the bloke who always came in, tried to get the best out of himself. And game day, uh, game day just gave it everything. Win, lose or draw. Yeah, I'd also like to say just thank you to everyone that's had influence in my career, uh, directly, indirectly, from my behalf. Just thanks for all, th all the support over the, the last 12 years. I hope um, I've done you proud and to the football club for giving me the opportunity back in 2009. This job is, is something that we don't take for granted. Um, everyone rocks up every day, tries the hardest. Yeah, I, I'm sort of, I will be around. I, I'm not dying, I, I'm still um, approachable. I'll be a big fan, so hopefully I'll be at most games next year and I'm cheering on the boys because you know, I really think it's going to be a special year for the footy club. So it's a shame that I'm not there, but thanks to everyone that, have, that has been there throughout my course of my career and, and been supportive. So thank you very much.